introduce you to our bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator by Reality Works. This is an exciting product that walks you through in hands-on learning mode to be able to do the birthing process of a calf and be able to ultrasound the different stages of that birthing process. So I want to walk through this product and what it does and give kind of an understanding of the overall vision of the product. So to start out with, our bovine birthing and ultrasound product is a tabletop model with the rear end and the pelvic girdle of a cow. I have the hide, and so we have our hide that can actually go over and it snaps in place and gives kind of a, a visual where you can't see inside. So you have the real life kind of understanding of what's inside the cow. But then as a teaching model, it allows you to open it up and be able to see inside the world of, of birthing a calf here. Insights here, we have pelvic girdle here, and then we have the opening, our bag here for the animal itself. The back end here has a tail, so it kind of gives you that realism that you have to actually move the tail, get out of the way. And then we have the birth canal of the animal. So then as you're going through this, you can actually do a real birth of our calf model. Other features of this is not only do we have a reproductive track that is for birthing, we also have a reproductive track that we use for the ultrasound. So this is an interchangeable model where you can actually go in and get an understanding. So this would switch out and you put in a different reproductive track for ultrasound. The ultrasound product also comes with a ultrasound ultrasound tablet and a probe here so that as you're doing ultrasound and going through that, you can actually visually see what the, you are doing in the ultrasound world. But I want to walk you through all the features of the product here. And so I'm going to come up front here and, and take our calf. This is a good heavy calf, allows you to have real weight in it, um, be able to show some of the different features as well with this calf. In this case here, it's made out of a, a neoprene, so it slides easily. It gives that kind of understanding of the liquid and what's coming out without the mess. So students can get that understanding um, without having to clean up your floor every single time that you birth, but it simulates that by kind of that sleekness and being able to kind of have to move it out and what's going on. Now, some features of our calf here are the head. It has the ears here. The mouth itself has a opening here. So you can put a, a harness on it here. So you can actually feel that and get understanding. The legs then come down here. And as you can see, we have hooves that then allow you to get a strap around it, making sure that you understand and be able to feel where it is located. All four hooves um, have that for you. So again, you may have to figure out, okay, is this the front or the back end of the cow? But it gives you that for that textile, that understanding, that feel. The movement of the calf then has different kind of joint-like movements. So it has that realism. So you can bend a leg and be able to move that. The head also moves from side to side. It can move back. So depending on how you place it in, you can do different birthing presentations for students to be able to do this. This has um, really 11 different presentations that you can actually put it in and then have students be able to birth. And another feature here is the tail, allowing students to really kind of understand of, okay, yep, I can feel the tail. Um, it has the ability to very sturdy and strong. So if they would pull on it, okay, that's not right. Um, how do you do it correctly? working that through with your student. I'm gonna put the calf in, and again, it has some good heft to it. Picking it up here, you can then place it in the reproductive bag here. The great feature about this is now you can teach your students some of the different birthing pieces here and, and get that understanding. You can walk through how they might be, the calf might be sitting inside of the cow. You can work through and show the pelvic and how sometimes this fetal calf will get down below the pelvic girdle here and how you actually need to bring that up, going in and bringing that animal up or what some snags and causes of that could be. So put it in place, get it ready for the birthing. I'm positioning it how I want it, but a teacher, an instructor, or students, they can put it in a lot of different positions. So then they can practice those different positions of pulling it out and being able to engage with, okay, how do I best get this out? Then when I'm ready, I can zip it all up. I can cover it up so I can't see it, or I can keep it open for a teaching tool as well. Now, another feature of this, it has the ability for you to actually put chains on it, to put ropes on it, to do a pulling mechanism as well. So then you can actually do 
do all of that and help your students learn all that as well. The back end here then, as I go in, you can have your students put on the gloves, put themselves in position to, to do the, like they were doing the real thing. I can feel the head, I can feel for the legs. I can then start bringing it forward and start moving it. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do, is I'm not gonna bring it all the way out, but I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. The back end here of the cow is all very pliable. And so I'm going to turn this just a little so you can see a little better. It's starting to come out here. There is the head of the calf being birthed. I want to just kind of show this as I'm able to feel the pelvic girl here, the pull that's coming and, and how difficult that is. I'm also able to manipulate and maneuver the animal and be able to feel in here and feel the, oh, there's the shoulders and they're stuck. They're getting stuck in there. How I'm gonna pull that out and be able to, to interact and, and move this as I go. What do I need to do? Now in this case, I haven't felt the need for chains maybe, or, or straps. And I probably use a strap on this. Maybe I do that if I need to. Right now, I'm still able to, ah, there we go. I just felt the pop from the shoulders giving way and allowing me to move and to, to bring this animal out. If I need to, keep on pulling and maneuvering it around. So all of this, again, allowing you as an instructor to be able to demonstrate this as a student giving them that opportunity to be able to go and maneuver this. As you can see, this pliability on the back end here and showing as you pull it out what's happening. Again, a tabletop allowing you to pull the animal and, and do a full birthing simulation here. Now, the other side we're gonna go to is I'm gonna switch this out and we're gonna go to the ultrasound side. So. What I have done is removed, and here's our birthing tract here, and, and the calf's inside. I've removed that, and now we're focusing on ultrasound. And again, our focus here is getting the understanding of what ultrasound is, being able to try it themselves, understand where the different locations are, and then getting students able to understand and learn all the different facets and what comes in. It's a great kind of added tool, getting some introduction and adding technology into how you uh, interact and work with an animal. Again, I have taken off the hide here so you can see it. We have our digestive tract here. It is on a bungee cord system so it can be moved and, and easily moved back and forth. Below it then is our reproductive tract and that comes down here. And what I have it here is I have it set up in our lower position. The whole focus of this is older animals will a lot of times have the reproductive tract lower or sagging a little bit. And so that is there for you. Now I can switch it out by just moving the these cords here and bring it so it is now a little bit higher for maybe a younger cow and being able to kind of bring that up, being able to see that. Then with our ultrasound, our whole focus here is we want to be able to learn about what is going on inside the animal while it is pregnant and kind of checking to see before it's pregnant, um, checking when it gets, becomes pregnant, all those different features. We have our probe here, ultrasound probe, and what you can do on here is we have different areas. We have a practice simulation and test. And so I can come into practice and it has pregnancy diagnostics. And then we also have issues. So we can diagnose and then issues in it. And again, this is not something where a student will go in and be able to fully understand and have all the ins and outs of ultrasound. It's letting them see what a pregnancy looks like at 30 days. What a pregnancy looks like at 70 days. Can I look and see what are those different things? So bringing it into the classroom, allowing the hands-on learning in this case. I'm going to pick one here and it gives me the ability to do, you know, an animal coming into heat, during heat, a pregnant animal, being able to see both a male and a female at different uh, days, and then be also able to see twins. And so I can click on what I'm going to look at here. And then all I have to do is, is you put the probe through and it starts to show the different regions of, um, and there you can see, there's kind of a, a view of the cervix. And as I keep on going then, there is the, a little bit of the uterine horn. And so as I move and as I go in, oh, you can see there a little bit, this is the twin one. You can see, oh, I found something. And again, it's getting to the right position and the placement as I go in. As I bring it back out then, I can change that and look at different types of stages. So I can go to a 
50 day pregnancy. All right. And what's happening in that world? I can then also go back patient history and it gives different scenarios that you're going to ask to check on. And so it goes in and asks for a pregnancy check, go in and see what you see. And then it talks through, okay, what I'm in there, what am I seeing as I'm in that scenario? What's the animal that I'm looking at? So it gives some different backgrounds to animals where it was just bred or it's been bred for a certain amount of days and, and it's eating um, a lot of food and you want to check to see maybe are there twins or is there something that you need to do uh, hormonally for it? What is it that you're seeing inside? There's also a test area here and there are different over 20 scenarios that you're going to go in and it's going to ask you about what can you see with this fetus? So you can look at the scenario. I can go in and start looking at the visual here and I have to start to understand and try to figure out what's going on. And then it gives the question. I can submit my answer. And then it tells me, oh, I was right or wrong. In this case, happened to be wrong. So I need to go back and do it over. I can check it again. None of those are points where this doesn't get a printout. It's helping students be able to trial and error, see what they're doing. So there's a lot of great features giving students this understanding of what is happening with the animal. And again, probing, am I going to the right position? Am I needing to look differently? How do I check to see what's happening? So when they get out and they get the chance to do the real thing, or if they have somebody else come and do the real thing, they can then have better knowledge of it, know what's going on, and have just that much more understanding of the ultrasound world. So letting students be able to trial and be able to understand what's going on. All of this then is what kind of wraps up our bovine birthing and ultrasound product here. It really is a simulation to let students understand the whole birthing process. A great tool to be able to use in the classroom, hands-on learning, and have your students be able to get an understanding and get the confidence and the ability to practice before they go and do the real thing with the most realistic type of simulation that is out there. So thank you for taking the time and getting an understanding of our bovine birthing and ultrasound product.